Welcome to Camo Studio for iPad. This is Camo Office Hours. I'm your host, Eden from Camo. And we are back with a brand new Camo experience to share with you. And that is Camo Studio for iPad. <laughs> Instead of telling you what this app can do, I thought we could just walk through the app together and you can drop any questions you have for me in the live chat. As always, I'd love to hear where you guys are joining from. And if you do any content like streaming or recording, let us know what your content is about. We'd love to learn a little bit more about you and um, just like how we can help advise on leveling up your video and content. So first, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick run through of where everything is, and then we'll dive a little bit deeper into each section. So that gives us time for people to join the stream and also like for you to think of any questions as I go. And all right, let's get started. So most of the controls are gonna be in this left-hand navigation panel. Um, you can click the left-hand navigation panel to open it and then click anywhere else on the screen to close it again. That's right up here in the top left. And then next to the left-hand navigation panel is our new pencil feature, which I saw that Brusco is already really excited about. Um, it lets you mark up things the same way you would in photos on iPad, um, on iPhones or iPads. We can play a little bit more with that later. Um, our recording and streaming buttons are front and center. And then your audio levels bar is right here, very usefully visible. And then to click on the gear icon to open up your settings where you can switch between light and dark mode. You can add information to your scene variables. You can manage your streaming destinations and recording locations. And this is also where you'll export logs from if you ever run into any issues, which of course we hope you don't, but just in case you do, that's where, um, that's where it'll be if we, if we need to troubleshoot with you. So we also have an awesome new getting started screen for the app where you can learn a little bit more about the streaming, recording, or using the iPad as a monitor use cases. And you can play back these videos in here. We also have um, our guides and tips section with um, our tutorials that our writer Lucas has worked really hard on as well as other useful content that are all designed to help you level up your video and get the most out of all of your camo experiences across platforms. Up here is the button where you can take the iPad screen to full screen. This is really useful if you're using um, the iPad as a monitor use case. And just again, a little mention for the people that are just now joining, I'm running through where everything is first, and then we'll go through everything in a little bit more detail. So if you feel like I am moving really fast, don't worry, I'll be coming back to each section and I'll also be checking in on the chat to see what questions you guys have. Um, all right, back to the walkthrough. If you swipe up from the bottom left, of the panel. This is your scenes window where you can see all of your scenes. Um, you can add them to favorites, check out the templates, look at all of them at the same time, add new scenes. You can filter them by landscape or portrait. And if you click on this little four squares icon, it just brings it to full screen mode, which is a lot easier to navigate when you're doing scene organization. Um, shouts to Anna Hill at Ecamm for always having her scenes the most organized. I usually do not. Um, and this is also where you will switch your scenes while streaming or recording. Swipe up from the bottom right to bring up your stream panels. Um, you can show your chat, 
activities, stream health. You can also add more. Again, we'll dive in a little deeper when we get back here. But this is the basic, this is your very quick two minute walkthrough of where everything is. Um, and now, are you guys ready to set some scenes up together? All right, let's go. I'm just gonna pretend like you guys all said yes. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my scene background for, from the Canvas Settings tab. It's the fourth tab in the left-hand navigation panel. Um, this is also where you have your streaming profiles, where you can change your frame rate, resolution. You can switch between vertical and horizontal as well. There we go, just a quick little demo there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna set this little stream background and turn off the camera for now. We'll bring back Namjoon shortly, so don't worry. Let's pop up this left-hand navigation panel. Yo, what's up Imran? What's up Andy? Thanks for joining today, love that. It says hand pink waving for me. Maybe it actually has the waving icon for you guys. All right, <laughs> let's open up the primary source settings. For this first one, we will set it to an external video source and select the capture card to bring in my game view. So I currently have my Nintendo Switch hooked up to the iPad, so I'm using the iPad dock, which has an HDMI cable plugged into it, and the cable is then plugged into a capture card, which is then plugged into the iPad. And that's how you can get your game view. You can bring in a game, you can bring in a professional camera, anything that you can use with the capture card, you can also bring in as a video source or camera source on the iPad app. So from here, we pinch to resize, drag to place, and you can double tap to bring it to full screen. And I don't know how to say your name, CLRG, low battery, that's just my, uh, that's just my other, their Joy-Con controller that's always running on low battery for some reason. But um, I'm going to pinch to resize and then place it right here to make it fit in with my background. There we go. All right, let's open up the left-hand navigation panel to see what options we have available. Thank you guys for all of your um, awesome, encouraging comments. We've been working really hard on this and we're really excited to share this with you guys. <laughs> So here we have um, filters that you can add to your game view, but I'm just gonna keep it on normal because it already looks good. We do have new frame shapes, so you can change your frame to a square, circle, or a custom rectangle shape if you want to, but for now, I'm just gonna set it to the usual rectangle because it makes the most sense for the scene that we are setting up. And I'm gonna give it some rounded corners, which is a feature that I'm really excited about. Look at those awesome, smooth, rounded corners. All right, I might have overdone it a little bit. Let's, let's, uh, let's bring that back down to, to, like, to like two. There we go. <laughs> we also have options to rotate or mirror your video, but um, I'm just going to keep those set at default for now. And that's what the scene looks like so far. Just going to take a second to check to see if we have any questions yet. Mostly just encouraging comments. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Shouts to Alan, Segunda, Tech Troublemaker. Good to see you all in here. Thank you so much for joining the chat. Um, okay, next up, secondary source settings. Here we go. For this one, we're going to set the type to camera instead of external video source. So you're going to want to use external video source when you're bringing in another screen, but camera if you're bringing in an actual person. 
And as you can see from the camera drop down, we have the option to use the back camera, the front camera, ultra wide, or if you have a capture card hooked up to another um, like professional DSLR mirrorless camera, that's where you'll bring that in from. You can also hook up a webcam, but I'm just gonna set it to the back camera where I have it, a stand-in model, my guest star, Kim Namjoon. Um, and then for now, I'm actually gonna turn off the video game screen just so you can, so I can demo our features a little bit better. All right, so go back to the secondary source settings for camera. I'm going to change it to a rectangle and just make him a little bit bigger so it's a little bit easier to see. Again, that's pinch to resize and drag to place. I had so much fun with this when I was testing. I was just like dragging and dropping and pinching and <laughs> pinching and placing things left and right. All right. Um, Oops, sorry about that. And here are your image enhancements. So these image enhancements are only show up if you have your source setting set to a, a camera type because you won't really need these when you're bringing in another screen. So let's take a look at these background, our image enhancements. You might recognize some of these background modes from the desktop app. It has our portrait, mode with the bokeh slider and privacy mode for the full background blur and also replace mode if you're using virtual green screen. But this is the coolest new mode that we're excited to share with you guys. It's called remove, which is allows you to remove the background in one quick click. So I'm just gonna show that one more time. So this is normal and then I'm just removing it really quick and it just it's just very quick and easy background removal um, which a lot of people like to use for streaming so hopefully you guys will find that one useful we can also add filters in the form of lookup tables let's check out the filter gallery um, we can make the view a little bit warmer a little bit cooler Cooler. Here we go. This one's a little bit cooler. We got black and white. And we can also turn on spotlight. So right now I have all of the lighting in my room set up to make me look better. But if I turn up the spotlight a little bit more, you can see that it's really helping Namjoon out right now. Um, even if I turn on this light here, spotlight off, spotlight on. It just really helps out if uh, you've left your key light at home or if you usually use a window for, for lighting and, and it's rainy, spotlight just feature just, just really helps. All right, I'm gonna change this back to normal. Um, I know, right, Anthony, super convenient. Thanks for joining today. It's good to see you in the chat. Um, all right, so brought the background mode back to normal so I can show you guys our frame shapes a little bit better because it makes a lot more sense for the camera view than it did for the video game view. Here you can change it to a square. Also, don't forget our awesome rounded corners. Um, circle shape and also, we also have this custom rectangle slider. Here we go. So this is for if you want to use um, rectangle shapes that are not, not the traditional 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Um, yo, shouts to JJ P Tech. This is a, yeah, I'll, I'll cover this more. And um, so we have these filters. In addition to the ones like warmer and cooler, there are sort of more functional ones. So these are to, these are for color, color blindness. They help boost different colors in each lookup table that really help out, make it easier to see. There's also like a false color one. I mean, I'll, here, I'll just run through them really quick. Here we go. It's a, it's a subtle difference for people with, with normal color eyesight, but these are like really useful for 
people that that have that deal with color blindness. And the false color one is one for calibration. Um, there we go. I'm gonna set that back to back to none. Um, and then for the frame shape, we're gonna go with circle for this scene. And now I will bring back the video game view because that's what we're setting up for. And then um, pinch to resize and drag to place here. And this is, uh, this is our scene setup and I feel like we are ready to stream. All right, let's go. Just, just kidding. Well, <laughs> we can maybe hang out a little bit after the stream if you guys wanna play some Phoenix Wright with me, but let, let's get through the walkthrough first. <laughs> okay, here is the scenes panel. So this is where you can switch between your scenes while streaming or recording. Um, I'm just gonna switch between a few of the ones that I already have pre-set up. Here we go. This is what this looks like. This is me using the iPad front camera right now. Um, and then here's, a, here's another cute little scene that I have set up. Um, all right, where is our, this was the scene that we were working with earlier. Okay, so for our scenes though, let's dive in a little bit deeper as I promised you guys. Here you can add them to, this is where you can filter between your favorites. I don't have any favorited right now because I'm very bad at scene organization, but our tools are here if you do wanna keep your scenes organized. Yo, shout out to Imran. Thank you so much for your support as always. Um, press this little plus button to create a new scene. Just enter a scene name and then you can set up a new scene. You can also add a scene from a web overlay. So this is like for stream elements, for example, you grab a web overlay and drop it in here, this little web address part. And apologies to, to my boss, I don't have one ready to demo right now, but that is how you use them. Happy to take any questions if you, if you have any about that. This is really useful, this little three, three lines to help you filter between scenes. Um, Yo, know, over, Brusco, over under 4.5 cameras for me. I'll let you guys guess, I'll answer at the end of the stream. Um, you can switch between landscape or vertical, which is really useful to just, if you're streaming in vertical, you probably only wanna see your vertical orientation scenes. Um, and if you're streaming or recording in landscape, you probably don't need the vertical ones there. So this is actually probably how I should usually I'll probably keep it on the landscape scenes view, but I'll, I'll just show and, and show these, how these are set up. Yeah, that looks so much, so much cleaner. I like this, uh, I like this scene filter, but uh, this, is, this is what all scenes looks like. Here, just, just gonna run through some of the, other, the scenes again in case anyone missed the awesome scenes that I have set up. There we go, I really like the pink one. and the dreamy one, it's a cute little dreamy frame. This is a little behind the scenes for you guys. This is how I am bringing in the iPad. I have this camera set up here that's pointing to the iPad. <laughs> okay, all right, uh, where, where was my scene? This one, here we go. All right, this is, that was our um, scenes panel. I'm just gonna check the chat to see if we have any questions. So at JJP Tech, are there any plans to add more than two video sources? That is definitely a feature request that I am putting down because I want that also. So hopefully we will be able to implement that in the future. For now, we're only able to do two, but everyone loves multiple video sources. I'd love to just have another camera angle that I can also bring in. Um, 
yeah, definitely. We definitely will be looking to, to do more than two video sources at some point, but we thought we'd start with two just to, just to see how things go first. <laughs> Um, it could also be awesome to add remote cameras via Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, that's that's a good call. We uh, definitely want um, Wi-Fi support because let me just say, you guys do not want to see my cables situation in my office right now. I, I have to mentally block them out. So yes, I, I plus one for being able to add remote cameras via Wi-Fi. Yo, what's up, Caleb? Thanks for joining today. It is good to see everyone in here. Thank you all so much for your support. Um, yeah, and at any point, guys, remember, you can drop any questions in the chat for anything that I've covered. Shout out to Imran. Thank you so much. Um, all right, back to the walkthrough. Those were our, our scene windows and, and scene setup. Oh, I'll show the full screen window one more time. This just makes it a lot easier to see everything at once instead of just in the little tiny, tiny scene setup window. All right, and then if you swipe up from the bottom right, this is your stream panel. So admittedly, this is way more cool to show off when, when there's actually a stream going on. It'll, it'll show the live stream chat. Um, you can also see the stream activity. Oh, I just got a new follow. Shouts to Ryan Tortacular. That's the homie. Um, you can also check your stream health. So this is really, really useful for during when you're streaming, just to make sure that your bit rate and frame rates aren't, aren't dropping. You can also see your stream stats for your friends that are online, offline, how many views you're getting, how many followers that you have, and how many subscribers as well as some quick actions like raid channel. I, I read that like I, I know what that means as a geriatric millennial, but you know, we'll, we'll just pretend like I actually know what that means. Um, yo, shout out, shout out to, shout out to Faye because cable management is a real issue here in 2023. Also in the stream panels, so I, these are just the ones that I've chosen because I like to monitor chat activity and stream health, but you can add whichever ones in this drop-down menu that you feel like would be useful to you. So if I just add like mod actions, it pops up and you'll be able to see things from, from the panel. Yeah, this is really cool. And if you guys have any, um, Suggestions, feature requests, please definitely let us know. We like to, we really like to listen to you guys and what you guys are looking for in streaming tools in, in the iPad app, on our desktop app. You know, we like to, we always like to hear from you guys. So definitely, this is a brand new app. So we're definitely taking suggestions for, for what other things you guys want to see. Um, yo, shouts to, shout out to Loey for, for uh, teaching me what RAID channel is. Thank you. Raiding it. <laughs> and yes, boss, I know. Gotta hide those cables. I just hide them mentally, okay? For, for the time being. All right, and that is our stream panel. And now for the fun stuff. Um, this little record button, if you press it start, it will start recording automatically to your photo library. But if you press the plus button, you can also save to your files, iCloud Drive. You can also connect an external SD card. Yeah, memory card. That's the word I was looking for to save directly, save video directly to, um, to an external drive. So you can easily do file transfer. Of course, you can also do airdrop from photo library. But yeah, this is, this is just to let you um, decide where you want to record to. Hit start. The button turns red and I'm recording this right now to my iPad photo library. Uh, the button being red means that it is live. All right, I'm just going to stop that and uh, check, check the comments for now. See, look, recording save. Camo Studio has saved this recording to our 
library. Checking in for some um, questions before I jump to the next thing. <laughs> Faye leaves the room and closes the door, problem solved. Same, same. <laughs> if anyone has cable management suggestions, feel free to send them my way. And JJP Tech, yeah, I, I totally agree. To have uh, more, more camera views would be really helpful. What's up, Retro Box Room? Thanks for joining. Lee, what's up? It is good to see you. Thanks for joining today. Oh, that's so awesome to hear. Oh, we need to reconnect, Lee. All right, Alan asks, can the video out be used for OBS? Can the video out be used on other platform like Zoom or Teams? So not right now, but that I'm also putting that down as a feature request. Um, Aiden, if you saw that comment, that, that we can add that as a feature request. And yeah, Brusco, I, I know zip ties exist, but once you zip tie something, you can't move it again. So not, not the most like perfect solution, but I, it does help. Zip ties do help. I think I just move things around a little bit too often to, for, for, to want to zip tie anything, anything down. All right, so that was recording and this little Twitch icon is for streaming. I already have YouTube and Twitch that I'm signed into. Um, but if you press this little plus button, it gives you more options for streaming destinations. So these are just the streaming destinations that we have right now. But We'd love to know what destinations you guys are interested in streaming in. We know that Facebook and LinkedIn are on the radar. Um, but yeah, we'd love to hear where you guys are streaming and what we should get added into, into the app. So if we hit start here, it'll be, um, it'll start streaming to Twitch. So. Oh, my Twitch sign-in expired. I haven't signed in in a while, so I'm not going to do that now. But just know that if you hit start streaming, the button turns red, just like it did when we did recording, and it'll show up at the top of, of, the, of, the, of the app so that you know that you are live. I'm um, just going to check in on some comments because I'm seeing them pop through. Lee, that's a good point. Twist ties are a little bit more flexible than, than cable ties. Also, also a fan of the Velcro ones. I love the adjustable, adjustable ones. Um, Brusco, you already know. He, yes, 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 to an, yes is the answer to that. And yeah, Alan, no problem. We're always looking for ways to make our apps more useful to you guys. So send in your feature requests. We, we want to know what you guys need, want from us. Retro Boombox says, always uses Velcro ties and hoops. OK, all right, all right. Oh, Kick. Yeah, Kick is on the radar. We, we have Kick on the radar. I forgot to mention that one, but that's a, that's a good call. Um, yeah, Faye, same. It's, uh, it's just um, always needing to plug and unplug stuff. Blame your job. How dare you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Velcro strips. Yeah, that, they do come in different sizes. I also love that Velcro strips, I feel like, often come color-coded. So maybe I should try the color-coded ones. So I could, like, you know, yellow for the cameras and, like, red for a different color. Um, etc. That's right. See, CLRG, you get the you you get the show. No passwords on a live stream. That's right. I I don't need y'all knowing that my password is zero 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 one two, uh one two three four password. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good point. So we do have the custom option here, where. You can add um, you can add a key, a streaming address, and a key for your RTMP server. I always want to say RMTP, so I said that like really slow, just to, um, just to make sure I got it right. But yeah, so that is how you can currently stream to other custom destinations. There we go. Just one more time. 
And also, you can also manage your streaming and recording in the settings tab. They, these are all right here too, if you want like sort of a bigger window to work with. It's, you don't have to just, you don't have to only use the tiny little window up top. Um, yeah, as for recording, you can also manage recording windows, recording options here. All right, so I promised that we would come back to the pencil option, and so here we are. I just really love here. Actually, for the pencil option, I'm gonna bring in. I'm um, let's uh let's have a little fun with this pencil thing. Let's uh I'm gonna turn off the cameras. I'm gonna go to. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't show you guys the. Uh, the background galleries and how you can add animated backgrounds yet. Um, these are the backgrounds that we have bundled, uh, that we have included currently. Um, shouts to Unsplash and all of the awesome people creating really awesome graphics and wallpapers there. These are, uh, these are the backgrounds that are already loaded in. You can organize them, set favorites, I don't do file organization, but you know, I, I hope you guys do. You know, do as I say, not as I do, right? Is is that how it goes? <laughs> um, uh, JJ P Tech says, correct me if I'm wrong, but can the app stream to custom? Yes, we can. Yeah, we we do do custom R R T M P R M T P. Which one is it? What is it again? Let's see. Uh, RTMP, RTMP, yes, we do have that available in streaming. All right, so I also have a bunch of things loaded into my photo library, but I wanted to show off this cool, um, that you, th it, this cool feature where you can add a video file to do like an animated background. Um, this was actually produced by our Lucas that everyone is currently saying hi to. Lucas is very popular with our live streams. I couldn't do my job without Lucas. Um, but yeah, he actually created this awesome animated background that looks really cool. Um, and basically any file that your iPad can support, you can bring it in to use as a, uh, as a, as a background. Um, oh yeah, I was going to use I, this. I have, let me see. I have this picture of, a. Uh, this is from the Brooklyn Botanical Gardens here in Brooklyn, which if, if you ask Aiden, he says that America doesn't have any actual gardens. So, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I think this kind of looks like a garden, but um, yeah, so let's uh, play with the pencil tool a little bit. Loey, you know what? I will do my best to draw Pikachu from, from memory. That, yeah, let's do Pikachu, because I, well, actually I'm cheating because I have like Pikachu, I have my little, little Pikachu right here. So it's, is it from memory if I'm, staring at a Funko Pop for, for reference. I don't know. I'm not very good at drawing though, so I will start with the ears. This is really testing my drawing skills right now, but I think it's a great way to show off the, we'll do chubby, chubby, chubby Pikachu cheeks. There you go. Uh, color in the ears. Um, there we go. And his eyes. So again, this is basically the same way that you mark up photos in on iPhones or or iPads. It's it's really cool. It just adds a lot of fun. Oh, wrong color. It adds a lot of fun to your live streams. People really love, it's really cool to be able to circle things as you go. Like, you know, I can, uh, oh, actually I do want, I do want yellow for this one, but 
you know, if you're, you're like, oh, you want to draw attention to this Japanese, um, I forgot what they're called. If anyone knows what this structure is called, feel free to, feel free to drop it, drop it in the chat. Um, <laughs> yeah, Caleb says, absolute wild North American garden erasure, Aiden. Um, <laughs> Garden State Warriors, you guys are funny. Um, Garden Grove by Sublime still rips. That is a song you probably know. Um, a circle around the bit with the garden in it. The whole thing is a garden, Aiden. I don't know what to tell you. Everyone else seems to think this is a garden. You are the only one that doesn't believe in gardens. Yeah, that's a good call. Here, I will draw a giant red circle around the garden. This whole thing is the garden. All right, back to back to my Pikachu. You guys are cute little Pikachu. Actually, I'm gonna cheat and go with um, with smiley Pikachu eyes. Ah, oh, let's make that a little thicker. See, this is really just super customizable and easy to use. See, smiley Pikachu is a lot easier to draw than than non smiley Pikachu. Well, also, see, I can, you can also erase stuff. Um, giant eraser. I will erase here. Um, yeah, that's right. Madden for drawing X's and O's for sports. Yes, J, JJ, P Tech. There is, okay. You can record an app on the iPad if I believe that is what you're asking. Is that what you're asking? Do you mean like if you want to record apps that you are demoing on the iPad? I, I, if, if I'm understanding your question correctly, the answer is yes, but you do need an M1 or M2 iPad to be able to do that. Right now it is, I, my iPad's just the iPad Pro. It's it's not an M1, so I don't have that capability. Um, I forgot. I feel like it's somewhere in the app. So it doesn't show, but so my iPad is not an M1, but yes, if you have an M1 iPad or newer, you can record record apps from your iPad. Yo, what's up, that Nola guy? Is that Brian? Maybe. I know a, a Brian that also goes by that Nola guy. Sorry if that's not you though. Um, all right, just uh, seeing if I missed any questions. Yo, it's a Tori. Thank you, Lee. Of course you would know. I can't believe I forgot it. That is something I definitely knew at some point in time. Thank you so much for chiming in. I, I feel like I just lost a point off my Asian card for, for missing that. Um, I know, Brusco, I am, I am really killing it. Pikachu needs some cheeks also. Um, let's see. Yeah, so mine doesn't show because it's not an M1, but if you do have an M1, it, it should pop up. Yeah, Aiden says you can record regular video inputs without an M1. Oh, the M1 is for, the M1 is for apps on the iPad that is um, not for, let me, hold on, I need to fix my, my comments keep disappearing after five seconds. Sorry about that, here we go. So yeah, you can still record regular video inputs without an M1. The M1 is for apps, for recording apps other than Camo on the iPad, which is what I thought JJP Tech was, was asking. Um, but yeah, so I can record the Camo feed to my iPad right now, but if you want to record other apps on the iPad, that would be, that, that you would need an M1 for. Thanks, Aiden. Oh, David. Yeah, sorry. I do. I know. Show what's up. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, Lee, Lee for the win. Thank you for reminding me what that is called. Oh, Anthony. Wow. This 
Aiden, I don't know if you're seeing this this uh, comment here. Um, just uh, you know, I, I don't know. I might need an M1 at some point to to demo things. <laughs> and Lucas asked if Tim Cook is here, checking us out. All right. Um, but yeah, oh, not the crown tool for for the cheeks. Sorry, that that did not work out the way I wanted it to. Um, maybe maybe it's still the marker tool that's best for this one. Pikachu, yeah, there we go. Little Pikachu cheeks and and Pikachu smile. Um, Manish, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Brisco, that's right. That's right. <laughs> And JJP Tech says, keep in mind that you won't be able to record external USB. Yes, you definitely need one that has the USB-C iPad port. That, that is the one that you'll be able to connect external devices for. Um, and you tested with an older iPad 8. All right, yeah, thanks for sharing that. That's really good for, for us to know. Yeah, we, it, you can only record using if you, I mean, you can only plug in external webcams, um, peripherals, external mics, capture cards. It only works with iPads that are, that have the USB-C iPad port. That's a really good point that you brought up. Thank you, JJ P Tech. Um, excuse me. And with an A12 chip or newer. All right, yeah, guys, keep dropping your questions and suggestions in the chat while I finish up my, my Pikachu. It's a little Pikachu nose. There we go, Loey. How, how is my Pikachu from, from not memory, but kind of from scratch? Um, I'll uh, erase the line that is not circling, that is circling a not garden, according to Aiden. But yeah, you can, uh, we can draw some. Oh yeah, also, yeah, we can, we can do more colors. Let's do a little bit of brighter blue for draw some water waves. Yeah, the pencil tool feature is, is really, really cool. And, and honestly, guys, if we bring in the, the game back in, let's, uh... all right, Pikachu, I'm sorry, but you gotta go for now. That's a, uh, hit the, you can all hit the all, all clear button to clear everything from your scene. Um, and this is also just demoing how easy it is to go back to what you were doing before. It's just, you can turn your sources on and off. Um, oh, we wanted the, the video game for this one. Capture card, this one, camera, boom, back camera, done. See, see how quick and easy that was? Just a few clicks. Um, Lucas, I need a stylus for that, okay? Um, Manish, hit up Loie. Uh, that is in the chat. Loey at reincubate.com. She is the person you want to talk to for joining our affiliate team. Um, we'd love to talk to you. So, yeah, good question. Thank you for asking. Oh, retro boom, retro box room. Sorry, I keep wanting to say retro boom box. Um, room sorry it's retro box room which capture devices have people used does elgato gear work yes elgato gear works beautifully with with camo we love we love elgato gear here we've used the elgato capture cards um i've checked tried out a few different ones i've i've gotten a capture card that i think was like 15 dollars it's 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 lost somewhere in in the mess of cables under my desk but um I've gotten like three different capture cards on Amazon ranging from 15 to like $70 that all work with, with camo for, for iPad. So yeah. Um, Lucas says he's tried out the Elgato cam link. That's the one I was thinking of and it works great. So guys, when you guys are looking for capture cards, um, just make sure that you are reading the specs carefully. A lot of them will like say 4k if, so if you want to do like 4k video, you want one that outputs 4k also some of them will input 4k but output to 1080 so just a little note to to like really pay attention to the capture card specs when when you're when you're buying them 
um, <laughs> Carlos Elgado. And Frusco, you get the show. You get the show, my guy. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Um, we're, we're excited. Yeah, Elgato works. A lot of other cheap, cheap USB capture cards. I, I haven't run into a capture card that, that doesn't work yet, honestly. Um, I will also just mention here that if you, are if you want to plug the capture card directly into the iPad, make sure that it is a USB-C capture card, like one that you can plug into the iPad. I, the first one I bought was USB type A, and I could not plug that in directly to the iPad. If you plug a hub into the iPad, you, you can but just just a few little things to keep an eye out for is um yeah make sure if you're planning to plug something directly into the ipad that it's a usb c capture card usb a also works but you will need like a hub or an adapter to be able to bring in the capture card if it's not um usb usb c to begin with um i feel like w we came back here because i was going to demo something but but I got distracted with, with the questions and, and now I don't remember. Yeah, so if you guys think of anything else y'all wanna see again, just, just drop it in the chat. Yeah, Lucas says you can also use a dongle. I like to use the word adapter, but dong dongle works too. Um. Yes, Alan, I always recommend for powered hubs. So right now I'm actually using a I mean, I went all out with the powered hub. I'm using a Thunderbolt hub. I got that plugged into the wall and plugged into the iPad because I just like to have all my bases covered. And it helps keep the iPad charged so you don't run out of, um, it doesn't run out of, run out of uh, battery while you're streaming. So that's also a little note, guys, if you guys are planning to stream for long periods of time, um, I would definitely recommend getting a hub, a powered hub that you can also plug into a power source because streaming and scenes re can, can require a lot of battery just depending on how many moving parts that you have. So I definitely recommend keeping the iPad plugged in. And dongle is a crazy word. I think Apple came up with it when they switched, when they took away the headphone jack and released the dongle for plugging in headphones to the lightning port. But yeah, it's, it's a crazy word, that's crazy. Um, yeah, Camlink HD and 60. Yeah, De yo, definitely. Um, and yeah, it's great to have, that's a high speed hub with USB-C. That'll definitely work. That's also, so right now I'm using a Thunderbolt hub, but I also have a, an Anchor powered hub that is, that is uh, under my desk with my cables. That's a giant mess. But yeah, I've used the Anchor hub that works really well that's powered with um, with the iPad as well. And you can, it has like two USB-A ports, another USB-C port, memory card slot. So yeah, that I've tried that one. Um, and Retro Box Room, if you, if you try it and it works, we'd love to just, um, we're trying to sort of like gather a little bit of information for everyone. So if you have ones that you really like using, we'd love for you. If you just want to share with us which ones those are, we can like add them to our site so other people can also know that that they've been tested from with our from our community. <sighs> Don't deny the dongle. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it's not it's not the same thing as an adapter. It's not the same thing. <laughs> I did not know that. Thank you for the little. Uh, thank you for the thank you for the information. I had no idea. That's right, Brusco. You know the drill. <laughs> um, I mean, y'all, y'all want to play some uh, Phoenix, right? Or <laughs> still taking questions, by the way. We have, we've got a little bit about ten minutes left. Or if anyone just wants to hang out a little bit longer, happy to just uh, hang out with you guys a little bit. This is a, oh, I'm starting a new game. That's why it's, it's playing the. Lucas, I don't know if that is 100% accurate, but I'm crediting that to you. I'm not the one that said it. Thank you, Retro Box Room. 
yeah, we've tested a bunch too, but the more the more that we can we can hear that people have tested that we can recommend that we we'd, we'd love to compile a, a stronger stronger list. That that definitely sounds accurate, Aiden, because I'm pretty sure they needed dongles in in the medieval times. Yeah. Lee, thank you so much for joining. It was really good. Thank you so much. Seriously, it was great to great to connect, great to see you in the chat, and we'll connect soon. I definitely want to catch up. Awesome, Alan. Thank you. File. That's right. Insane show, right? If anyone's looking for a, a really insane show to watch, check out Mask Girl on Netflix. <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> Madeline Dongle, didn't she write a, a wrinkle in tech? Did I get that right? Yo, Matt Cave Gaming, what's up? Good to see you here. Good to see you in the chat. Yeah, and we'd, we'd love for you to test out the, uh, the camo for iPad with, with your gaming setups too. Lord Dongle, get over yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's right, man. Shout out Matt Cave Gaming. That's the homie. I, I think you guys had too much fun with the Dongle conversation in the chat, if I'm being honest. That's going to be a really good one for the live chat replay. Yeah, Matt, we'd love to get you to try out the, the camo for iPad with, with your gaming setup where, we, you know, as you can see, I got my iPad uh, hooked up to the Switch, but, um, but I, I haven't tested it with any other gaming consoles yet. I retired from console gaming, so anyone that's doing console gaming, we'd love to, we'd love to hear what the experience is like. Oh, this is also a good opportunity for me to show off the full screen mode. Full screen mode, if you want to just use your iPad as a bigger screen or a game monitor for for like the Switch, um, or if you're traveling on the road, you want to bring a, your Xbox or PlayStation with you but don't want to bring a screen, or if the hotel doesn't have a screen you can plug into, bring your iPad and you can use it in full screen mode as, um, as a uh, full screen monitor. See, I can bring this to... Uh, Oh, I gotta take it out of full screen mode, my bad. But uh, bring it to full screen mode. If you turn off the secondary picture in picture, now you're in full screen. Yeah, we've actually gotten a lot of, um, we've heard of a lot of people that are excited to use the iPad as a monitor and our camo app for iPad allows you to just use it as a monitor. You don't need to use it to stream or record. This is at least, I don't know, three and a half times bigger than the Switch screen. Yeah. I, I am gonna bring back in the picture in picture though because I, I like to, I like to demo what here. I'll also, uh, I'll make a little cameo appearance over here. Oh, y'all wanna see face tracking in action? Let's see. So if I turn on auto framing and move, I'm pretty animated, so moving around, but the, the camera's following me. So auto tracking right here, let me, there we go. By the way, I'm here and now I'm here. Here, I'm here. Okay, I need to stop giving you guys whiplash, sorry. Yo, if I stay here, I can be in both, both camera views at the same time but I can't look at both cameras, or I'm just looking at this camera. But if I'm looking at this camera, I can't look at the iPad screen, so. Yo, Brusco, that is a good point <laughs> because we don't drop our iPads or at least as often as we drop our phones. Um, the cameras, yo, and the cameras on the iPad Pros are really nice. I had a first gen iPad for a really long time and then when I got the, this uh, iPad Pro for testing, I was like, oh wow, they really, really upgraded those, those cameras. So 
the back camera, front camera on the iPads for the most more recent versions have been like a, just highly improved. Yeah. Retro box room testing out with PC gaming. Awesome. Shouts to Elgato Gear, man. Really, Elgato Gear is is industry standard for for gaming. I'd say, yeah. All right. I think my camera is getting confused as for, to which one it is trying to use. So I'm gonna turn it off and go back to full screen mode. See, this is actually our uh, use as a monitor use case, which you can check out in our new um, getting started screen. So Bavesh bot, I hope I'm saying that correctly. iPad subscriptions separately. What a great question. The iPad app is free. It is free. I, I wanted to say free 99, but it's actually free zero zero. It is, it is free. It doesn't cost anything to use. Um, totally free so no excuse not to try it out everyone loves a free app so yeah check it out Ooh, retro box room that is a great i really like this feature request yeah so this is something we also have gotten a lot of feature requests for for our desktop app but yeah the the eye contact feature the ai eye contact feature would be really useful for for making it look like you're always keeping your eye on the camera. I'm curious to hear from people that have tried it though. Do y'all feel like it's a little bit like uncanny though? Um, Lucas, I, if you're still here, I remember when we tested it out, it, it was like, we, we did a few different video tests where I just like kept looking more to the left or more to the left and it just still looked like I was staring right at the screen. Um, I, I got to the point for me where I was a little bit like, ooh, I'm not sure if I like this. And also, I, I feel like I hope that it's a little bit more subtle effect because I feel like as humans, naturally, we, we look up when we're thinking, trying to recall something, um, or, you know, we blink as humans also. So if it's always making eye contact with the camera, it can be a little uncanny. So just curious to hear what, what you guys think, think about it. Um. I know, Brusco, yo, so I'm trying to get more consistent. I, I actually stream with my uh, work bestie, Joe. He's not on the screen right now, but we, we're we replaying the Ace Attorney trilogy on Twitch. So um, I just realized my screen is not on, it's not fully full screen. Let's, let's fix that. Um. Oh, it's because I have my rounded corners. There we go. To get to full screen. There we go. It's a lot better. So. Mike Tomlin never blinks. That's right. Mike, Mike Tomlin does not. You, don't blink. Don't blink. You don't. Splash. Yeah, I would just love like if it would just even if it even if it did AI blinking, it would be a little bit less less jarring, I think. <laughs> oh, it can look a, a little a little soul sucking. Maybe that's good. Halloween's coming up in a in, in little over a month, so. Oh, sorry, when the screen is dark, y'all can see all of the handprints on uh on my screen. So just blocking out all of the all of the fingerprints. Just kidding. <laughs> There we go. When there's when there's something on the screen, you can't you can't see the reflections as much. All right, we are back in court with Phoenix Wright. That's right, Brusco. Splash. That was my best uh, Mike Tomlin impression. We are coming up on time here, so just doing sort of like last call for um, last call for questions. And I did promise that at the end of the screen, I would answer whether I have over or under 4.5 cameras. If anyone wants to drop any more guesses, drop any more bets for nothing other than you are right. 
for whether I have over or under 4.5 cameras, drop it in the chat. Yeah, JJP Tech, that's a good point. We, yeah, it, it's just it's just so noticeable when I feel like it's just, the purpose is to make it not noticeable, but it just almost becomes more distracting. Yeah. Judge Dufour presiding. <laughs> Does, if anyone follows Dave Dufour, who on he covers basketball for The Athletic and is going to soon be the assistant coach for the Georgian basketball team, um, he looks kind of like the judge in Phoenix Wright. So, yeah. <laughs> Gambling again. Anthony says under 4.5. Oh, Kre. Brusco's going over. Um, Retro Box Room, um, for testing results, we are at support at reincubate.com is where we'd love to hear from you. Or even better, if you are on Discord, we would love for you to join our Discord, which I or Loey will drop a link for in the chat. Um, Loey, if you're there, can you drop a, the Discord link? I closed out Discord for the time being, but I'm opening it right now. But yeah, or support at reincubate.com. Let me drop that email address in the chat for you, Retro Box Room. Support at reincubate.com is where you can send us your testing results. And let me share um, our Discord server. We, yo, we would love for you guys to join us um, in Discord. We just, we, we literally like just got Discord set up and shared last week. So it's, it's a brand new uh, way to, to connect with us. We'd love to see you in there. We want to know how you guys want us to utilize Discord, but I'm planning to do drop-in calls on Discord, um, probably have some gaming hangouts where we're just like chilling. Um, lunchtime hangouts, some little mukbang. Uh, it's one of my favorite, one of my ideas that I know is one of all, Aiden's also favorite. Aiden loves my idea of doing some camel mukbang. Mukbang is an eating broadcast, you guys. We can hang out and eat lunch together. Just an idea. Don't worry, I'm not actually implementing it yet, Aiden, if you're still listening. Um, but yeah, we'd love for you guys to come hang out with us on Discord. I just dropped the link in the chat. And Retro Box Room, thank you. We, we, really, we really appreciate you, you being willing to share with us the, the, the peripherals that you've tested out. And Bavesh, yes, we definitely have Facebook Live on the radar. Um, so the, I will add you as a plus one for feature requests for, for our... Um, as a feature request for a streaming destination. Sorry, I'm trying to like, I was, I think I was just uh, trying to multitask and, and forgot to how to finish my sentence. Um, okay, so the answer to over or under, does Eden have over or under 4.5 cameras? Last call for, for bets. All right, it's, it's over. It is way over 4.5, way over 4.5. Um, I got like three, three webcams, my built-in camera and like iPad camera, iPhone camera, other iPhone camera. So that's, that's five right there. So Anthony, you were, you were wrong. It is, it is not under 4.5. Eden has over 4.5 cameras. That's right. Trials being swift is never good. We want real thorough trials. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are a little bit over on time. Um, happy to answer any last last minute questions. I'm really excited to, to share the iPad app with you. We got a lot of good questions answered. Thank you all for participating in the chat. Shouts to Brusco for dropping all, all the show references that only us and maybe two other people in the chat understand, but it is all good. They make me really happy. All right. I'm going to get ready to, to wrap things up here. Yo, I know, right? Sometimes when 
And, and Retro Box Room, you said that you've been around for a little bit longer. Um, I, I can only imagine. I, you probably have a whole box of, of just like retired tech. Um, retired tech in, in your room somewhere with like all the old stuff. Legacy webcams, etc. Um, oh, that was Sergey this whole time. Wow. Hashtag. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I was like, see, see, slurgy. Yeah, yeah. Yo, thank you, Brusco. This was my first solo live stream. I was a little nervous, but you guys seriously helped keep me um, helped keep me going from the comments. Oh, Ryan, so good to see you. Thank you so much for popping in. And bye from the UK. Oh, it's getting late for you guys. Yeah, it's only one o'clock over here, but I think it's like six for y'all now. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for popping in, Matt. Good to, good to see you. Um, and yeah, please do check out the replay. If you have any questions, you know, you have my email address, you have Loie's email address. <laughs> Sergey, I just can't believe you waited, a, someone waited until the end of the stream to tell me that that was you. Um, I didn't know if you were, yeah. Yeah, see, <laughs> how, are, how are we supposed to know that was Sergey? Uh, close though, you know. Um. All right, let me see. Oh, JJP Tech has one last good question. Is there any delay compensation feature? Sometimes HDMI has some latency. That is a good question. I, as of now, I don't believe we do, but I am going to make a note of that and bring it to the engineering team. Aiden, if you are still watching a, a note from JJP Tech, that's a, that's a good call. Um, yeah, it's, it's good to have a little bit of, of buffer built in sometimes. For sure, yeah. Six and raining. Ah, I heard it. I, I heard it's rainy season for you guys, or is that just all the time in the UK? <laughs> all right, guys. I'm uh, I'm gonna wrap things up here. Thank you all so much, seriously, for hanging out. This was. This has been a blast. I'm, I'm so excited that we finally got this app out and shared with you guys and y'all seem to have really like it so far. Please give it a try, share us more feedback. Um, share with us even more feedback because we, we genuinely do. I look at every single comment. Aiden reads every single comment, every, every feature request we log in a document. Um, and that really does help us shape where we take the app moving forward, so. Yeah, let us let us know what you guys are looking for. And um, yeah, JJP Tech, uh, Aiden, Aiden says, if you want to drop us a note at support at reincubate.com with a little bit more details on what you'd like to see, we'd, we'd love to hear from you and, and just work with you to make sure we uh, that it's it, that we are implementing what what you're looking for. Yeah. Thanks, Anthony. I'm so glad to see you in one of my work live streams. All right, guys. Love you guys all. Um, I, I have other, other work I need to do at some point, too. So um, I, I'd love to hang. One of these, one of these days, I will, I will convince Aiden that I should just have a game stream during work hours to hang out with the community. So yeah. But um, all right, everyone. I'll see you guys all later. Thank you so much for joining.